watch. Hillary Clinton is here right now joining us live. Secretary Clinton, thanks for joining us this morning. Let me pick up uh, where, where Cecilia's piece left off, that, that attack on Senator Sanders' health care mm -hmm. record. Chelsea Clinton saying he's going to dismantle Obamacare. Sanders' campaign says that is simply not true. They're going beyond Obamacare. And President Obama's former strategist, David Axelrod, weighed in as well. He said it's really not an honest attack. It's not something they should have sent her out to do. Well, first of all, you know, I adore my daughter, and uh, I um, know what she was uh, saying because if you look at uh, Senator Sanders' uh, proposals going back nine times in the Congress, that's exactly what he's proposed to take everything we currently know as health care Medicare, Medicaid, the CHIP program, private insurance, now uh, the Affordable Care Act, and roll it together. Now, give health care to everyone. Well, but let's get the specifics, George. That's why I'm saying we're now in the area where we have to go from generalization to specifics. I have said what I will do to improve the Affordable Care Act, and I've laid out specifics about out-of-pocket costs, about prescription drug costs. What Senator Sanders has said, and it's his perfect right to say it, is he wants a national health insurance single-payer system. Okay, so now tell the American people how much that's going to cost them, because Every analysis that I'm aware of shows it's going to cost middle class families and working families and also explain why after this historic achievement of President Obama, we've been fighting to get some kind of affordable care since Harry Truman. Now he wants to start all over again. And I think those are legitimate questions. That's what people are asking me out in Iowa and New Hampshire. We deserve to give answers. Senator Sanders says you're starting to draw these contrasts because you're getting nervous. <laughs> well, you know what? I have a different rhythm about how a campaign goes. And maybe it's based on my experience compared to, uh, to his. But we have spent the beginning of this campaign for months now where I've been laying out my policies, where I've been meeting with people, listening to them about what they want the next president to do. And now we're in the sprint, and it is time to draw contrast so that, look, there's no comparison between what the Democrats believe, because we have some of the very same objectives compared to what the Republicans are peddling, but there are substantive differences between us, and I want people to know about that. This is, you know, this is all in the context of, you know, my deep respect for him and his uh, many years of service, but we have differences on guns, on taxes, on health care. And I think people should have that information before they go to the caucus or the primary. You've also been saying that, uh, making an issue of electability, saying you're the candidate who can win in November. Here's the ad you put in an Iowa last week. So ask yourself, who's the one candidate who can stop them? Hillary Clinton, tested and tough. To stop them, stand with her. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. <laughs> that ad certainly implies that you think that Bernie Sanders cannot win a general election. Is that what you believe? What that ad says is that I have the experience, the toughness, the resilience to be able to take on the Republicans. I think that's a very... Also says you're the only one. Well, I think I will do the best job of making sure we don't let a Donald Trump or a Ted Cruz become the next president Why do of the United some, States. Why do so many polls show Bernie Sanders doing better against Donald Trump than you? You know, I don't pay attention to the polls, George. I mean, I, you know, I know that's the way folks keep up with it in terms of the horse race. But from my perspective, you know, polls go up, polls go down. I don't really pay attention to them. I have a plan. I'm implementing it in Iowa. I'm implementing it in New Hampshire. I feel very good about it. And now it's, you know, what, two plus weeks until we know. Your own campaign is saying that if you lose Iowa, it could change the course of the election. Is that what you believe? You know, I want to win. But I have a very long view about this. I've been organizing in the states that come after South Carolina, Nevada, and then the states that come after that. Look, I campaigned until June last time, as we all remember. I feel very strongly that we must have a Democratic president to succeed President Obama. That's what I'm going to be making the case for. Before we go, you buy a Powerball ticket? I did. <laughs> and I did. if you win? Well, I'll fund my campaign. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, thanks for joining us this morning.